Home Plate is brought to you by the Homer Lachlan China Company, Newell, West Virginia, proud makers of Fiesta dinnerware. And by Optiview Vision Centers with locations in Austintown and Niles. much for having me here today. Give me a, um, a little rundown of what you guys have here. Well, we are a bread bakery. Okay. We're a Middle Eastern bread bakery. That's what we're known for. We make flatbreads and pita breads. And last year we had a really exciting year. It was our 40th year in business. Wow. So, and that's saying something, it you is. know, to be in business that long in the same locality. So, um, we're very well received with our with our uh, customers, and our customer base grows all the time. Tell me, what's the difference between a Middle Eastern bakery and then just a regular bakery? Middle Eastern bakery, um, what I can tell you is we do specialize in a lot of Mediterranean fare. Okay. Um, the flatbreads, obviously, some of the, the, the pies that we sell, uh, people know us by the pies. Uh, the pastries, we, we get a lot of our pastries, uh, the baklavas, and um, just we have such a wide range of different products that we offer and a lot of different spices. We have, it's more than just pastries and breads, we also carry a lot of different things that you can cook with. Right. So Give me some examples of those things. We have a lot of our bean products okay. right over here. Uh, we have rices, we have bulgur wheats, we have different types of Mediterranean olives that we sell in our deli. We have different types of salads that we sell, the tabbouleh, the shanglish, the fulmadamas, the garden lentil, all awesome. sorts of Yummy. hummus, <laughs> yes. We're really big on hummuses here. So, you know, we do, we're just, there's a wide variety of different products that people can come in and take advantage of. Uh, welcome to Go Sains. Uh, we're celebrating our 40th year of uh, business. I'm third generation baker. Uh, we've been in the Youngstown area for a, you know, three generations. Uh, we love what we do. We love serving the, the Youngstown area. Uh, thank you to all our customers, all our loyal customers, and uh, we continue to uh, we'll, we'll continue to work hard to serve this area and uh, surrounding areas for many years to come.
Well, it's hard work, but you know, it's a good business. It's growing. They're doing well, so I feel good working for them. Tell me what we're going to be doing here. We're actually going to be cooking today a flatbread pizza. All right. Yes. Um, a lot of people, this is lavash bread. Okay, what's lavash bread? Lavash bread basically is, um, it's, it's flatbread, okay. as you can see. Okay. The pita bread is a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can open the pocket and right. you can stuff inside, right. or you can just roll it up. We usually use pita bread for our gyros, which we're yes. pretty famous for. We do make the best gyros in, in Mahoney <laughs> County. But anyway, this is lavash bread, and this is our 13-inch round lavash. Okay. And what we like to do is, and this is a really nice project, especially if you have little ones. Uh -huh. When you're wanting to make pizza, first of all, the time is cut in half. Right. You're not messing with any of the dough, so there's not going to be that mess in your kitchen, which okay. is a great thing. Yes, definitely. Yes, especially when you have little ones that just need to help. <laughs> but what you like to, what we'd so like I to can, do I first. I can buy this here. Oh, definitely. Already. Okay. You can buy this every day of the week. We have this Monday through Saturday. Okay. We have this. Go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna lightly brush it with olive oil. Okay. Now what this is gonna do is it's just gonna help it, it's, go, it's gonna kind of make it a little bit crisp. Mm -hmm. It's gonna brown it up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this. Okay. And after that, we're gonna stick it in the oven, 400 degree, we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay. We're gonna stick it in for about four minutes, take it out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit. When you let lavash bread cool, gets a little crispier. Oh, that so you good. want that crisp. So right now I'm going to use my peppery feta spread. Okay. And again, you said that's made here. That is made here. What other combinations fresh. do you have? So if I didn't like the black pepper, is there other combinations that I could select from? Um, you know what? I would, I would, I would suggest probably um, just like a regular pizza sauce. Okay. If you didn't really like this, this to me is very Mediterranean. Okay. And Usually when people come in here, that's one of the things they like is yeah. that taste of the feta cheese. Yeah. I love feta cheese. Oh, I know. It's so nice to eat. It goes really well on everything. Okay, now that's that. Right. That's the feta spread. But Here's I can get feta. all of that here. You said that's actually made here. Well, no, this is actually this, jarred. Okay, it's we jarred. We sell this on the jar. Okay, uh, on the but shelf. it's sold here. I yes. can purchase it here. Yes, you can purchase it here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead what else goes on? Can I start putting some onions on? Oh, definitely. Go ahead. That? Put some onions on there. Okay. I'm just going to go end to end. Okay. Start doing that. You want to put the... Be generous. All right. Okay. I'll do the, <laughs> I'll do the artichokes. All right. Looks yummy already. My boss loves artichokes. Yeah, so do I. He kind of inspired this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead and get... Some, fed, some more feta. Oh, okay. definitely more okay. feta. All right. I'll do All the right. un, or the olives here. Okay. I'll put some feta on top. Isn't this gorgeous? I know it is. It's so good. This is such a nice dinner option. And it's a it's a full meal. It is. It is. I mean, pair it up with a salad. Dinner is served. That Wonderful. Was quick and easy too. Yes, it is. We're gonna stick this back in here now. This time. We're gonna let that cook for about anywhere from five to seven minutes. Okay. My rule of thumb is when you start to smell it, uh -huh. it usually ready. means it's done. All right. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay. Mm. 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 That is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. See, I love feta, and I can actually taste the cracked black pepper from the spread that you originally mm -hmm. put on there. It's really mm. good. It's crisp, it's light. It is. What a good alternative to a heavy pizza dough. And it's really easy to make. It is. Very easy And to the, make. the options are endless. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Youngstown State still offers the best value to students of any four-year institution in Ohio. There's still time to register. Come and join me and experience the difference offered at a truly comprehensive research university.
Reach for a great university experience and register today. For an authentic diner experience, look no further than the Steel Trolley Diner in downtown Lisbon, Ohio. Award-winning hamburgers with all of your favorite toppings, fresh cut fries and onion rings, delicious milkshakes, and some of the best homemade pies you'll find anywhere. Stop by the Marketplace and pick up Steel Trolley's original topping sauces, t-shirts, and classic candies. For hometown service and great food, visit the Steel Trolley Diner in Lisbon, Ohio today. Follow us on Facebook or at steeltrolleydiner.com. Home Plate Home Style is brought to you in part by Ruli Brothers Markets. Hi, I'm Helga. And I'm Mitch. And we're back together again. Yep. And what are we making? I'm making a Bauernfrühstück. It's like a real German uh, breakfast in the morning. Actually, the farmers love to eat this because it's potatoes, it's bacon and onions and Bound and fish. eggs, it's fish. yummy. Mm -hmm. So and these are cut need, about yeah, like this. We you need them like that. Mm -hmm. This is the bacon you get from Rolly Brothers. Yeah, I get that from Rolly Brothers, and I tell you, uh, Bill, he was so nice. I told him that we're gonna do a show, and I says, "Can I have about this much off the?" You know, I didn't want to slice. So you heard the He's, pig in the back when he was so cutting. So he, yeah, so he did. He caught the pig for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna put this in the hot pan. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is how the farmers ate over there, the big pieces. They don't want the small, the, the, you know, the thin slices of bacon. They want to have the big stuff. Okay, look at how nice and rendered they are. If you like them more crispy, you can do this, but uh, the farmers like it like that. Even my grandchildren like it like this. They like it a little fat on there. They don't like it too no, that's crispy. Beautiful. Isn't that good? Yeah. Now, if you want to throw in the onions, okay. mm -hmm, that'd be nice. And of course, I had the um, I had already my uh, potatoes boiled, and it's always good to uh, you boil this is like a Yukon. Is yeah, Yukon bowl, and I don't like this the um, the skin on it. But if you want to, if you prefer, you can leave the skin on it. So now this one here, you need cut up. Yeah, mm -hmm. just do it like, like that. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I need to do all the work. Isn't that something? I only a, one potato. Here. I put just a little bit of onion. Not so bad. Little bit of butter. And now comes. I tell you, this is going to be so good. You're going to love this. But we have to do the onions just a little bit more that they get a little I think people are lining up outside to smell that They can bacon. smell it? Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. And look at Mitch. Doesn't Beautiful. that look pretty? Now Golden. see how the onions are nice, translucent-like? Yep. Okay. And so now we're going to go and uh, put the potatoes, potatoes in. Watch it. All of it? On my shirt. <laughs> I don't have my... Uh, potato shirt. <laughs> yes, I do. Look, I, I'm matching color. Yeah, all of it. See, this is actually for six people, the recipe. Six big people. Well, watch it. They're going to cook down a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, I could eat Yeah, I but could, you know I what? It's, everybody's going to have a taste. Okay, the salt and pepper. How about your, oh, your chives are going to be A little bit easy on the salt because we have that bacon in there. Yeah, good okay. salt. Mm -hmm. You can always add salt later. Yeah, I love pepper in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna mix that all up. The action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you want to do this in the meantime. Sure. I'm gonna put the eggs in. We do, we do six eggs. Okay. And what we do is what the tablespoons of milk. I ball it. So. Yeah, I ball it again. I ball it. And um, we're going to put a little bit of parsley in our eggs, okay? For you want parsley in here now? No, we put them in the eggs. Yeah, do you want them in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You so yeah. much help. That is <laughs> wonderful. And look at this. Doesn't that look nice and fresh? Nice color. Mmm, it smells so good. Okay, now we've got to get this nice and warm. It takes about five more minutes and then we can go and throw the eggs over it. And now we're going to go and throw the eggs over it. Okay. Okay. Do you need to stir it or anything? You just no, we're just going to let it. We're just going to go and go around the time here. Oh, it's just looking good. Trying to cover it, you know, a little set up. And this ensures that those German I think that's farmers... going to eat probably 10. I feed 10, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said six. working all day, you think? 
Oh yeah, well, at least till lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're they're coming back for lunch. But you know what? They eat at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's oh, their, yeah. that they get up well, with the chickens. Don't you get up with the chickens? Mm, only when they get me up. <laughs> when they get you up. Okay, now we're ready. Doesn't that look that's beautiful? That's beautiful. Yeah. And you know what? That's quite heavy. You want to just dump it all in there for slide me? Slide the whole thing slide in there. It you in want there. it upside down? No, or just you can just in slide there. it. All right. Ooh, look at that! Isn't that beautiful? And you're going to put Excellent. the chives right there on top? Yeah, just put a little chive on. Nice yeah. color. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And it's fast and easy. And I would like to talk about, I went to the Bread Chef. It's on Western Reserve Road. Oh, this is so good. Oh, that's a nice loaf. Mm, oh, yeah. yummy. And we're going to put a little bit of butter out. I brought my butter bell today. It's your butter bell? Yeah, your butter stays nice and soft there. And you know what? We always were fighting over the heel. My kids wanted it, I wanted it, and Wolfgang wanted it. So. <laughs> now listen, you make a big slice like a farmer, so I did eat. Just going to cut a couple of pieces here. That's beautiful bread. Oh, look nice. We're going to go and put a little bit of uh, butter on there. And you know, and then you uh, have a taste of my, uh, you want to dish out some of it dish on the- Just a little bit up over uh -huh, here? Uh-huh, yeah. And you can set some of the bread slices on the side, or just, you know, whatever you want to do. This bread is like a sourdough, really good. And it's from the bread chef. Mm. Very, the very good. Okay, now I'm anxious to see what you, what you say to this dish. Oh, just, and you better say it's resist. good. <laughs> My nose already loves it. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I really enjoy that. Potato and bacon. Well, I think we have to say goodbye. Because this has been a long show. This yes. is a wonderful dish from Helga. <laughs> this is Better Helga. make sure to do this one. I'm Mitch. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye now. some redecorating in our house and we're thinking about putting some stripes on the wall but we're not too sure how to do it so the colors don't bleed through. Do you have a tip for that? Sure, I have a tip for you. What I have here is a piece of drywall that we're gonna use as a sample. Okay. First step is to paint the base color. In this case, the base color is white. Um, on raw drywall, I probably would prime the surface first and then come back with at least two coats of the base color. Now what's the drying time in between that? Well, you need to read the can on the paint. Uh, the drying time should be about an hour to two hours, but when you're painting stripes, I probably would let the surface dry a good four hours before I put the next coat on. All right. Okay, after you have the base coat on, then you're gonna come in with your painter's tape and you are going to uh, define the area that you want to either stripe or zone. Right, so that's why you put the tape there. That's why I put the tape there. The key step in preventing the bleeding is to come back with the base color and paint over the blue tape as such. Okay, so you're painting over the blue portion of the tape. I'm painting over the edge, the defining edge of where you're gonna come in with your new zone or your stripe. Okay. So when you do this, you hope that any bleeding is gonna be protected by that paint. By protected by this paint, so that when you come back in with the top color, hopefully it will not bleed through. Okay, Kevin, so now that the, um, the base coat has dried, what, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna come back with the top coat and we're gonna paint it over where the base coat has dried on the tape. Okay. And I'm using a dark color. Okay. So you probably are gonna have to come back with at least another coat or two and you're just going to continue. And you're going to let that dry, each coat dry in between, right? Exactly. I'm going to let each coat dry, you know, for several hours before I come back and, and put another coat on. Okay. So if all has gone well and you follow the steps accordingly, we're going to try and pull the tape now to see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to pull the tape, and as if you notice, I'm pulling away from the stripe. Wow, that is a really clean line. Look, there's no, no sign of any other color or bleed through. Yeah, I mean, otherwise you're gonna have to come back through with a brush and do some touch up, which 
can be time consuming and you're not gonna get a clean sharp line. Now how long does this process usually take start to finish? Um, I would say that you could get this all done in a weekend. Because um, you really do need to allow the time for the dry time. And it really does make a nice effect. Okay. All right, well join us next time when we'll have another great tip. Feed your family with fresh and healthy foods from Rooley Brothers. Our deli features the best selection of top quality meats, cheeses, and salads that go perfectly with fresh breads from the Rooley's in-store bakery. And prepared foods like hot wings, pizza, sausage and peppers, pasta and meatballs are available every day from the Rooley Brothers kitchen. Great foods prepared fresh daily at great prices. Rooley Brothers, Boardman, Austin Town. Join us at the Butler Institute of American Art for summer art classes. Children of all ages, teens and adults can come and have fun with us in a wide variety of classes. For more information, call 330-743-3630 or visit butlerart.com. Good morning, I'm Sophia Brooks, and welcome to Expressions. Here, we're here today at the Warren Amphitheater, listening to the top notes and the special guest, Sean Jones, from Warren, a native of Warren. This band's been together for 52 years here in Warren. Started out with a doctor's group and it uh, evolved into having actual real musicians. I'm the last doctor in the group. Uh, and all these people are uh, teachers. They've been band directors. Many of them retired, but they're still playing with the band. So Sean, when he was just starting, said, you know, Dr. Vlad, I'd like to play with the top notes sometime. It's been a long time coming, but I finally roped him into it. We saw him in Cleveland with the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, and he promised that he would come, and so this was a great day for him. It's a great day for us. Sean Jones is a treasure. Sean, you know, Sean Jones is really what all about the Mahoney Valley is, is about. You know, he works hard, he's dedicated, but he's committed to where he came from. And this is really a fantastic to have him here tonight. What caused you to come back to, to this area? Well, Dr. Valed actually uh, came to a concert that I was doing in Cleveland in December with the Cleveland Jazz Orchestra, and I saw him in the crowd, and I said, wait a minute, is that Dr. Valad? Can't be. And after the show, he came up to me, and of course, all these memories came back, and I couldn't hardly breathe, and I just got excited, and I, we've kept in touch. And then he came to another concert in April that I was doing. It was actually a Cleveland Jazz Orchestra benefit concert, and... At that concert, I acknowledged him and I told him if he ever needed me to play, I would be right there. So at the end of the concert, he said, I need you to play. <laughs> so he told me about this date. Lo and behold, it was open and here I am. So. We're so glad to have you here. You know, it was good that I found out you were going to be here. And of course, I had to be here, you know, right, well, and to here. have you on Expressions. <laughs> Expressions. <laughs> Expressions. That's the television show we are. All right. And thank you for being here. Thank you. And my thank pleasure. you for being here with me. Totally my I'll pleasure. I'll tell my it's friends. Good to see I'm you
for being with us this morning at Expressions. We'll see you again next week. If you're tired of seeing this every time you try to use the toaster with the microwave, it's time to call Tedco Electric. With over 25 years of commercial and residential experience, call Tedco for all of your electrical needs. Call 330-720-8587. Hi, I'm Ted Kosis, owner of Tedco Electric. Call today for any of your residential or commercial electrical needs. Licensed, insured, and affordable, call Tedco Electric today. Thank <laughs> you.